Hello. Oh, didn't see you there. You're doing, you're doing the intro. You can, why do you always do this to me? Because when it's spontaneous, you're funny. Welcome guys to Summit Auto Lab. I'm just really using my brain here a lot to make sure this is perfect for the Stradman. He's our number one customer. Whoa. Really? Do I get like a plaque or a medal or a badge or? You get a wrapped gladiator. I might oh, okay. your face if that's okay. <laughs> what is up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome oh. back to our channel. Okay, nope, cut. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back to another video. We have been so busy at work. Faith and I have been just working nonstop trying to get the Stradman's Gladiator wrapped so we can head across the country. Check it out. This thing's turning out so good. We, uh, we pretty much have the majority of the car done. Faith is working on uh, driver front fender right here. We just finished the passenger front fender right here. We just installed it. I'm gonna be wrapping the hood and the front grill for you guys on time lapse right here. Sorry uh, we couldn't film the rest of the wrap. We've just been busy working. We only had a couple days to get this done. Uh, we're leaving bright early in the morning to where? We're going to a couple places. We're going to Denver, see some buddies in Chicago, and then going to my hometown in Michigan. Okay guys, I put you up on my cabinets, on my tripod for a time lapse. I'm gonna wrap this hood like I said, and Faith is gonna finish the fender over there. Okay guys, I've pretty much wrapped the whole hood. All I gotta do is the extremely boring, tedious wrapping on the edges. So I'm gonna cut this time lapse and move on to the grill. Just like that, the grill is all done. What do you guys think? I think this thing looks amazing. Faith is over here working on the hard top. We pulled it off the Jeep right there. So she's working on doing this whole section and this back section, while I'm gonna be working on these rear, like, R8 side blade type things. I'm gonna be wrapping this one and that one, probably that one, so I can stay out of Faith's way. Okay, you guys, Faith and I were on a roll last night. We just kept working and working until late, late at night, early in the morning to get the Jeep Gladiator done. You guys, check this thing out. This thing is incredible. James is on his way up from Salt Lake right now to pick this thing up. Uh, I think they're gonna be trailering it back down to Salt Lake to get something done to it, new wheels probably. And then I think we are heading out. Good try. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around. This thing was actually uh, a lot more work than we anticipated. There's a lot of pieces, just to give you an example. Like just this front grill, you have like the main front grill, but then you have this side piece plus the bottom piece. Then you have the hood, which has all the accessories like you gotta pull out. You got the hinges, you have the cowl, you have the side of the cowl, you have the windshield surrounds, you have the fender flares, you got these hinges, you got everything. So Jeeps are really hard to wrap, but we were able to get this thing done in just a couple days. So once James puts the wheels and suspension components on, he's actually gonna pick us up in this Jeep. We're gonna drive all the way across the country to where? Michigan. So we're heading to Michigan. We're actually staying at Faith's parents' house. I don't know if you guys know, but both Faith and I are both from Michigan. Um, Faith's parents still live there. So we're actually gonna go stay at Faith's parents' house. The Jeep is getting an engine swap done in Holly, Michigan. Check it out, well here yes. he is. Thank you guys, it looks so good. Yeah, turned out the right choice. Yeah. yeah. You, you just need wheels. 
you just need wheels. You, you think? No, I kind of like this look. Yeah? No, I like it. I think Stance Nation, this is really the look we want. Okay, like I said, James was on his way up, but he's actually here with the trailer. I'm gonna pull the Jeep out. Man, she sparkles in the sun. They're gonna head down to Salt Lake City, maybe get some new wheels, and then uh, James will pick us back up here, and then we're heading to Michigan. Hey, Work it, Sal. Work it. These are in the GPT. Yeah. And just like that, James is back from getting his new wheels and tires alignment and balancing done. Will you guys check this out? This is insane. These are huge. It turned out so sick. Like I'm just like blown away. It's awesome. Yes. I can't wait for there to be two more. Whoa, hey, whoa, it's happening, it's happening. Okay, let's go, we got places to be, we got uh, the whole country to drive across. Bums away. So we've been driving for probably about five hours now and we're in the middle of Wyoming. It's Faith's turn to drive. James is in the back editing a video for you guys. Sal guy's keeping him company. Going east. Nothing to see here. Really nothing to see. Okay, you guys, we are at our next pit stop. I don't know where we are. We're somewhere in Wyoming past Laramie, but these rocks are really cool. So we're driving off-road. Flex on these rocks, get some Instagram photos. So, come check it out. Oh, oh that's sick. Nice. <laughs> it looks so good right there. Okay, so it is a brand new day out here. We are actually in Iowa now, out in some field getting some uh, some shots for Instagram. It's super windy. Oh, it's gonna dive in. So I don't know how many of you guys out there have driven all the way across the country on I-80 and driven through like Nebraska, Wyoming, Iowa, and stuff like that, uh, but it is incredibly boring. So we've been trying to entertain ourselves in various ways, but we just finished driving like a stint of like three, three hours? Yeah, what, what in tarnation? Ruin my crops. <laughs> so we're just trying to entertain ourselves. We took a pit stop. The highway is like out over there, uh, but we saw these cool windmills, so we thought we'd uh, try to get some photos. I think we're gonna get a couple more photos of it flexed here on this like embankment and then we're gonna jump back on the dirt road, jump back on I-80 and keep going because we need to be in Chicago in just a couple hours. All right, Faith, let's see if you can get in. I'll even hold the door open for you. It's a lot bigger than it looks. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh! 
Oh, it's hard, I had to keep the door open. Okay, you guys, after a long day, we just checked into our hotel. Here it is. Oh, snap. Thanks, Sal. So I gotta get my swimsuit out because Faith says that this hotel has a killer pool with a water slide. Are you ready to go to the pool? I am. All right, cannonball. <laughs> okay, so Faith is up at the top of the water slide. Here we go. Hey guys, see you guys at the bottom. Well, that is going to end today's vlog. We just drove, what would you say? 1,500 miles? Something like that, yeah. Cross country to Chicago. We're heading to Michigan next. And we got some really, really fun stuff planned in Chicago for tomorrow, so you guys stay tuned for the next video. Next video is going to include that. We'll see you there.